I don't think there's anything you can say to make her give this up. Well, I obviously need to speak to her face to face. Stuart, this has got absolutely nothing to do with Waterloo Road. I take it you've called the police? Well, no, not yet, but I'm about to. So far, we've been able to contain it ourselves. I'm down five grand before a hole's even been dug. Well, I'm afraid any compensation claims need to go to the LEA. Well, you don't want them prying into your affairs? Just get it sorted, all right? Yes, please, please. Hello, I would like to report an incident of vandalism and trespass. Tom, leave us alone! Give it a kick, it'll scare him off. Tom, go back down. Cool it, Tom. Don't do anything stupid now. Quick, before he gets any further up. We're going to sort this out. Do it! We can't be... Tom! Tom! Tom, you OK? Tom! Just try and keep still, mate. Tom! I was only trying to scare him. The ambulance. He's dead, I know he is. Water That's right, Come on, mate, take it easy. I'm fine. Yeah. No, one of our teachers has fallen off a ladder. I'm fine. I'm fine. Don't touch him. Well, yeah, he's conscious, but can you just hurry up, please? Yeah, as soon as you can. Thanks. Try and keep still, mate. It's been a take inside. I would prefer a negotiated settlement, but I suppose a swan dive from a 20-foot tree is one way getting them down. What's happened? It's all right. I could have killed him. No, he's fine. It's nothing major. Come on. OK, listen up. On your way. The show's over. Looks like you've got a bed for the night. I'll get a shift on if I were you. Why? Done nothing? Of course. Smashing windows, trespassing, endangering kids' lives. We've raised a profile, yeah? Don't think this is over. When the locals find out what you're planning to do here, they'll be up in arms. <laughs> we'll have 200 of them camped out here. Yeah, right. Good luck in your career. Yeah, yeah. He wound the whole thing up. This wasn't Mika's fault. I know. But she's part of it now. Can't change that. I mean, where did you find those nutters? They should throw away the key. It wasn't Leon. It was me. I pushed the ladder. You? Well, it all just happened, so... Are you sure you're not just covering for this Leon guy? They did the windows, but it was me that pushed Tom off the ladder. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah. What is it with you, Brett? Huh? You're an extremely clever young man. Oh, here we go. Forget about what's going on in the world and concentrate on your exams. Come on. You're a dabbler. You're a dilettante. This is all some intellectual test for you. Look, you can question my commitment all you like. For God's sake, you climbed up a tree and you wouldn't come down. You know what? I have more respect for you if you actually cared about what you fight for. And with me, at least she's got passion, she's got substance, but you... Take it Mr. Clarkson's injuries put paid to the conservation garden. Why? I gave you my word. Some of us have got principles, Brad. You can go. I told the police no charges. So you're just gonna have to face the wrath of Miss Mason in the morning. Might be a few days at home, I'm afraid. I know you care passionately about the environment, but, but not like this, eh? I and somebody could have been seriously hurt today, not just me. I've been acting like a right spoiled brat. Brett's right. 
I think today I was doing most of this just to wind you up. Well, you did a good job. So no more internet eco-terrorists. Hmm? And that's the last we've heard of Leon and Spoons. Spoons. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I've got an apology to make too. Because you're an adult. And I'm going to treat you like one from now on. Roasting off Mason, but I think she'll hold to her promise of the conservation garden. So, it hasn't been a complete waste of time. I should have listened to you. Sorry. Hey, don't worry. I'll call you later, okay? Let you go. See ya. <laughs> 